It is April 19th and we are gonna do what we do best and open some packages. Look at all of these. I kind of have a little bit of a backlog of packages because I guess I wanted to wait until a daily update to film them and I wasn't feeling like I was looking like my best. I got back from Coachella on Sunday night. We decided not to stay for Frank Ocean, which I don't know if you heard about the whole thing that happened there. I'm kind of glad that we didn't stay. Um, and they do like a vehicle shut-in from nine to two in the morning, the, the night before the Monday, when everyone is trying to get out. We were trying to beat that rush. And I think after, after a couple days of sleeping in the tent, where we're literally like steps away from one of the stages, the whole vet bed is vibrating. You can, you can pretty much hear everything I did bring. I'm so grateful I brought earplugs. That is something that I would highly recommend bringing if you go to Coachella. And I have a video that I will upload right before this where I have recorded like a day zero update. And then I guess I forgot, I got caught up in the whole thing, but I'm so grateful for the Coachella experience. It was honestly beyond my wildest dream. Let me, let me think about what happened. So I, well, first I heard about this recycling program that they were having. Um, where if you collect some bottles around the campgrounds, they will give you, so I got these ice therapy. I'm part of another program called Remarkable Voices and they, they've they just been giving us a lot of gifts. And in the Remarkable Voices program, they're bringing together a lot of creators. Most of the people have blogs and podcasts and stuff like that and teach you about SEO and email marketing and other things like that. And so they gave us some credit to, for a site called Snack Magic, so you could buy snack boxes, but then, I, but then they also have these wellness goodies as well. It says, pull the tabs and start the fun. Day zero, I have an update for you. The showers weren't working yet, but also the camping situation was total glamping. We had, I'm gonna create a, a trash pile. We had surge protectors to each tent. We had a light at the top of our tent that was connected to a battery pack. We had, I think it was 18 inch inflatable mattresses, but, but the tents got hot. It got cold at night and then it got really hot because we were in the desert. But overall, all right, let's take a look at our swag magic. This is also from the Mar Remarkable Voices team. I wanna show you the inside, this looks so cute. So day one begins and day one, I cold showers were not ready, or sorry, the showers were not ready, so they were cold. And I was part of this program called Accessible Plus, which was about creating an immersive experience, a program for disabled BIPOC participants to get to experience the festival in a hands-on way. So the first day I helped to hand out these LED wristbands for Pink Bunny, or sorry, Bad Bunny. I mixed up Black, Pink and, Black, Pink and Bad Bunny. Um, I got to hand out these LED wristbands. I got some coffee here, uh, Vietnamese coffee. I got to hand out these LED wristbands. And then while I was handing out the LED wristbands, someone was like, well, first of all, someone was like, are you Tiffany You from, Di I love diversity. And I thought that that was really sweet. And then the second thing that happened was I ran into someone I went to high school with who I haven't seen in 17 years. So this is uh, Soothing Sounds for Perfect Sleep. And it is a sleep sound machine that has 14 natural sounds and a compact design. The, this is one of the goodies that I picked. And then you could pick like a staff pick or have them have them pick a goodie as well. So I ran into my friend from high school who I haven't seen in 17 years. And this isn't just like some loose acquaintance. We actually saw each other almost every day. They were, or we were both pretty active in student government and also I think in choir together. And that was day one. So I handed out these LED wristbands. After that, I went back to the camp. I met up with Greg who arrived a little bit later. And all I wanted to do was go see Blink-182. So I was kind of giving him a tour of, a tour of like the whole festival grounds, but of course it's really big. And we were like, you know what? Let's go say hi to this friend. And then we'll head to Blink-182. But 
I think the stage that Blink 182 was on generally has about, generally can accommodate like 40,000 people. And there were 70,000 people trying to catch that show, which I was so happy for them. But it also meant that I didn't really get a good seat per se. And I was a little bit upset about that. And then I decided to go check out Gorillas later on. This is the next item that I got. So I'm gonna be part of a fashion styling session at this conference that's happening later this month. And this looks like it's gonna be a little bit big, but I think I might go try it on. I'll go try it on and come back. We do love a good jumpsuit. It looked big, but it actually, it actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna see the stylist on Friday and see how we like it. The pants are a little long. I saw another speaker at an event wear something kind of similar to this. I wonder if it's like a little bit too casual, but we shall see. Day one, end of day one, I went to go see Gorillaz. Greg went to go do his own thing. He, uh, but Blink-182 was like packed. I, it was, it was so packed, but it also made me really happy that like, I grew up with Blink-182 20 years ago and this reunion, it was just so epic. So that was the first thing that happened. I'm gonna put the clothes in a, in a different area. You get to see all the trash over here. So then day two, day one we also had some speaker. Actually every morning we had guest speakers as part of the Accessible Plus program. Oh, these are the goodies from Case Casetify. Let's see. So I did pick some items that I thought would be really useful, but I think they wanted me to like pick some cases. I think this is this was part of their like PR gifting. And it's so strange to me that people think about me to gift me things. Comes in this really cute packaging. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. We'll throw it in the trash pile. So day two, day two, I had what we call like meeting your mentors and job shadowing. And so I'm actually not sure. Oh, great. This is the, this is the case that I wanted and it came in this, it came in this packaging. And then let's check out this other one. All right, and it says, hello, this box is made from plants, not plastic. Recycle me after opening. Love a good sustainability, Kate, sustainability packaging. Day two. So day one were like most of the artists that I was super excited about. All right, I got a strap guard. They gave me a leather strap and it goes, this strap goes with the case. Great. But to be honest, I actually don't, I don't know how, I don't know how the strap works, but I will, I will figure it out. I feel like there should be some instructions. Thank you for choosing us, our packaging. I've got a card here. So what did I do on day two? Day two, I got to go into, we found out that our wristbands would give us access to go into the festival grounds early. So I went in early and took some photos with the different art installations. Oh, I see. It does have some installation instructions. So you have to insert the strap card, snap in your phone, and then attach the strap. So a little bit different, and this is, this is what the strap looks like. Day two, did some shadowing with Sabira. I forget what we were doing. Oh, we went to go grab lunch. Greg needed to get some shorts or something. So we took all these pictures, we grabbed coffee and stuff at the festival grounds, and then we went out to the campgrounds to go grab lunch. And then we like called a dispatch to come and pick us up, but it took forever for them to arrive. So then we ended up walking it and then going to the artist lounge area and uh, and then checking checking out like the end of a concert or something. And that day I was like pretty low energy. So I went back to my tent to go take it easy, to go take it easy. And then, and then that night I went to go see Rosalia and Blackpink and Kid Leroy. And I only know, I think I recognize a couple other songs, but the song that I knew from Kid Leroy was Stay with Justin Bieber. And so right as he was opening the song, we all thought that Justin Bieber was gonna come, but he did not. And we were a little bit confused 
because I think some people had like spotted him earlier, but but maybe he just changed his mind later. I don't know. So that was day two, and then after Kid Leroy, I think I I think Greg and I met up. We headed back to the tent, and day two was hard. I think both of us like weren't feeling that great. And then day three, it's a new day. I had decided to do this like recycling challenge and collect these bottles from the campground. So that was on my list. But the first thing I decided to do was go check out the VIP area. So I went to go check out the VIP area. I got this book. This book I also got thanks to the Remarkable Voices program. And I'm, I've actually been in Kelly. Kelly did a masterclass about networking that I was also in. So I'm excited to get a copy of her book and read about building your dream network. And I actually can't remember if I've already read this book before. So day three, we went in. I think Greg needed some coffee, so we went into the VIP area. We found some coffee and then we separated for a little bit because I wanted to stop by the swag store to buy this bandana. Is That was a partnership with GB Black, and they had Jen White Johnson, who is a Afro-Latina disabled artist, make a print for the bandana, and it was not part of our gifted, uh, we got, we did get a shirt that also had the print on it, um, but I also wanted a bandana, so I went and I bought that, and then I rushed back to camp because I needed to get, I needed to, what did I need to do? I needed to get all the bottles before the recycling store closed. And these were some skincare products from an event that, that Chronicon, which is this really great community was hosting. I'll put a link to my referral link if you decide to join. I don't know what perks there are, but uh, they also have sliding scale options and scholarship options. And they're hosting their big event, in-person event in, a month, actually a month from today. I just saw it because updates. So definitely go check it out. Um, and if you are looking for a beautiful, loving community as someone who lives with chronic illness, or if you love someone who is chronically ill, you can check out the community. This is from a company called Kaya Skin. And they have some instructions here for how to apply these goodies. And the packaging is so beautiful on this. So we got a hydrating face mist and some face oil. I'm gonna have to watch the recording again to figure out how to use these. But I'm still new to like face products. Half the time I don't know what's going on. Uh, but my face has been really dry since moving to LA and that part of it is no fun. Parts right here all get a lot of dryness and then right around my nose here. So we are on our final two packages. So day three was like the most eventful day. So I dropped off the recycling and it was literally like 10 minutes before they closed and then they cut everything off. And I got 83 bottles, which I, I think I only started collecting them on like day two. So that was pretty impressive, but also you wanna drink a lot of water while you're out there. So I collected a lot of bottles and tear along the bottom line to open up for you guys. Let's see what this is. So this is, we got a $10 gift card from DoorDash. Yes, yeah, so the last day I did that. And then I headed back to camp because my shadowing was with someone named Wiley, who has kind of been like the producer at the Sahara tent ever since Coachella started. So it was cool to be able to spend the afternoon with him because I got to go behind the stage, onto the stage, which not a lot of people get access to. I got to hang out in this artist lounge area where I saw a lot of, I saw a lot of celebrities. Some of them were excited to engage Others, not as much, but I did. And then Travis Barker and Kourtney Kardashian were there because Travis's son Landon was performing with this artist named Loren. And Landon's girlfriend was there and they had, you can, um, and then they had some friends there as well. So this is another piece that we got. This is from a ASOS. So let's go ahead and try this one out too. Here is this this one we were looking for some outfits that i could see myself wearing at speaking engagements and stuff 
The arm is a little long, but I can always tuck it. It does feel like a teeny bit tight, like in this area, but it's manageable. All right, and then we have one more package and then we're done, we did it. So that was just such a cool experience and they're really nice and I took photos with both of them. And, and then Greg really wanted to see Bjork because he saw their, he saw the symphony, her symphony performing earlier that day. And, and so then we were curious if we could go and ride the Ferris wheel and Accessible Plus gifted tickets to the Ferris wheel, which honestly, that was also one of my highlights. I wanna show you some of the goodies. This is from a company called Uprisers. They did, I think they did a, a collaboration with Panda Express and they created this cute bag and a, a different type of chain if you wanna use this and a lot of packaging in here. This is, look at this bag, it's so, it's so fun. So we were able to get on the Ferris wheel and one thing that was interesting was we got these ADA bracelets and if you are new to my channel, I broke my femur and my tibia in the car accident 25 years ago and while you can't see it, it has definitely taken its toll on, sometimes I'll feel pain in my leg, especially right under my knee, which maybe I should get that checked out, but it also is impacting hip and back and everything. I think one of the things I learned because there was so much walking at Coachella was that by the end of some of the days, I was just really grateful for ADA, the ADA section and being able to sit. So we were able to go into the Ferris wheel and get like an aerial view of Coachella, which was pretty cool. And then we went to Bjork and while we were at Bjork, we enjoyed a couple of songs and then decided that maybe we would try to beat the rush and head out early. Cause originally what we were thinking about doing was staying for Bjork and Frank Ocean, um, getting up really early in the morning to Head out. This is the smallest size that they had for this. And I know it's gonna be really oversized. They gifted me a few items and I wanted to try out something a little different. So we stayed for a couple of Bjork and it turns out it wasn't quite what we were expecting. So we decided to head out and I'm glad we did because it meant that we could stay, sleep in our own beds and Monday was just a full recovery day. And the last couple of days I've just been in meetings. This was also part of the collaboration. This is, this is adorable. And then I got one last item. In the past couple of days has just been a lot of meetings and catching up on some stuff. And my friend Stacy, hi Stacy, let me know that I was on TED and I also got a text from my friend Jen and she said, hey, you're featured on TED. And I just thought they took one of my TEDx talks, but it was not. They, about a year ago, I ended up filming a part of this, a part for this thing, for this series that they had called The Way We Work. I also got this vest and that went live today on the TED homepage, which I thought was pretty cool. That's all I got. This is a longer daily update. That's all I got. We opened all the packages and I am looking forward to just continuing to recharge over the next couple of days. Bye everyone.